Hey everybody, uh, today I'm going to do um, an integral problem. Um, I'm going to evaluate this integral from 1 to 4 and the integral that I have to find is this one right here which is x squared minus 4x minus 3 dx and the formula right here is the integral evaluated from 8 to b of f of x dx equal big f of x evaluated from a to b which is equal to big f of b minus big f of a. In other words, I'm going to, my first step, I, I need to find big f. That is going to be the antiderivative of this function. Then, I'm going to evaluate the big f from a to b which over here my a is 1 and my b is 4. So um, I'm going to take the antiderivative of this to and then evaluate. Okay? So when you take the antiderivative is the opposite of, of differentiation. When you take the antiderivative of a function to add one to the exponent and divide it by the new exponent on each term. So, over here I got an x squared minus 4x minus 3. I'm going to add one exponent. I want to add one to the exponent of x squared that gave me x cubed over 3. And then, because I divided by a new exponent, right? So, x cubed, I added 1 to the exponent, and I divided by a new exponent. So, this, so it's x cubed over 3 minus 4x squared over 2. And over here, I got a negative 3. Negative 3 is to the power of 0, so I add 1, so it's going to give me just 3x. Okay, so I'm going to simplify this. This is going to give me just x cubed over 3. And that, four, that 2 goes into 4 2 times, and I get 2x squared minus 3, right? x. Now I'm going to evaluate this function from, from 1 to 4. Okay. And I'm going to bring the whole thing over here, and I'm going to evaluate from 1 to 4. But remember, it's b minus a. So that function, this function evaluated from b minus a. In other words, it's like, I think like, I think like final, like final velocity minus the initial velocity. I think it that way, so. So, this is going to be 4 cubed over 3 minus 2 times 4 squared minus 3 times 4. Okay. And then I got to put the 1, put the minus sign, put the other brackets. I got to get 1 cube over 3 minus 2 times 1 squared minus 3 times 1. Okay. Over here, when well, you got to be careful, because this piece right here can be very easy, but it's very easy to mess up the numbers over here. So, so I'm going to evaluate, uh, 
simplify this, I'm sorry, simplify, and I get 64 over 3 minus 32 <clears throat> minus 12. Then over here I get one third. I get two. I get minus three. Then what I do now that I have the numbers, I can change the signs. Okay, so I can change the signs and I say okay, 64 over 3 minus 32 minus 12 plus put the plus sign and then they change it to a minus one third minus one third right plus two plus three now I can combine the stuff right I got one third and I get a 64 thirds. So 64 thirds minus one third is 63 thirds. 32 and 2, that give me negative 32 and 2 give me th negative 30. Then negative 12 and 3, that gave me Negative 9, right? Now, 63 divided by 3 is 21. Thirty negative 30 uh, plus negative 39, I'm, I'm sorry, negative 9 is 39. Okay? Then I add those numbers. 21, positive 21, minus, a neg uh, minus negative 39, that gives me negative 18. That, that should be that should be the answer for this uh, integral. That would be considered the area under this curve, this point right here. So, um, I hope uh, this video helped anybody who's taking calculus. So, and again, just be careful. Take the integral, evaluate, be careful when you plug in the numbers, and you will do okay. And just keep in mind a lot of practice, right? Thank you for watching.